<laughs> Professor Liu is getting nervous. I can't feel that. Ignition. Over the past two decades since China sent its first hike in Manned missions. This is the twelfth mission, carrying the youngest ever Shenzhou crew since the construction of Station. So this vehicle comes from the camera of the mansion, mounted on the second stage of the rocket and looking backwards, so we can see the two boosters. These cameras are so important, they bring us a real-time scenario, real-time monitoring of what is going on with the rocket to see its trajectory and to really visualize how that yeah, flight yeah, is yeah. going. I think it's super so important. So I believe at this moment, you can see the direction has already yeah, changed. Yeah. So the That's pitch right. over has already been successfully conducted. And the next critical step will be the jettisoning of the uh, emergency escape tower. Mm. And how much further into the flight will that happen? The jettisoning of the emergency escape tower? Escape tower. Uh, about uh, 100 seconds also. 100 seconds, that's about a minute 40 seconds into the flight. We could see the separation, the jettisoning of the emergency escape and tower. This, I, I believe at this moment it's already supersonic mm. and uh, already passed what we call the max Q, uh, which means uh, the maximum uh, aerodynamic forces to the launch vehicle. I mean, this is something the Taikonauts would have experienced in their training yeah. also. Okay, yes. jettisoned. Okay, the escape tower has now been jettisoned. And the next critical step will be the separation of the four boosters. About two minutes. About two minutes into the flight, we will see boosters come We also heard voice that all the ground station is tracking very normally, either the optical, telescopes, and the readers. I love hearing them. I love hearing them report that everything is going on smoothly, normally. We have a very calming, very soothing voice. Great. The oh, boosters no, yeah. have come off. Sure. Four boosters. Oh, oh, and also the first stage is separated. The first stage has been separated. Yeah. They have a camera on the rear part of the second stage to monitor the working of the main engine of the second stage. Mm. We have one main engine with a thrust about, about, about 80 tons and also four vernier engines to change the attitude of the launch vehicle. Mm. So we can see the optical images based on the ground telescope. Uh, oh, this is what I mentioned, the, the video from the camera mounted on the rear part of the second stage. Mm -hmm. We can see the big thrust is the main engine. And this is the engine mounted inside the payload fairing. So mm -hmm. the next uh, step will be the separation of the payload fairings. The separation of the payload fairing yeah. will be great, the great. Oh, yes, that's separated. That's separation. Okay. Ah. Now it's in the sunlight. The, uh, the astronauts inside the cabin can see the sunlight through the two windows. I mean, some of their predecessors used to, you know, play with pens once yeah. they reach zero gravity. And so the next see. step, after several minutes, will be the shutdown of the main engine. Hmm. But still, the four Werner engine will be still continue working to adjust is to make sure that it's precise enough. Yeah, I'm happy to see that the Taikonauts are doing fine. They seem to be doing okay in their seats. Uh, you know, that's the, uh, the Shenzhou uh, 617 uh, flying east route. Along its trajectory, we have the Weinan, <laughs> exactly. yeah. Weinan uh, ground station in Shanxi province. Mm. And also we have the uh, Taiyuan satellite launch center. We also have a ground station. 
And so this stage will probably take a little bit longer. Yeah, exactly. And also you can see the background is the horizon of the Earth, very bright. They've already outside the atmosphere. I mean, all of these cameras, they withstand such high temperature and they, they, they work magic. Well, you know, that is still there is a diff uh, interval between the camera and the rocket engine. So it's not in the very high temperature, still very safe. Okay. And you can see the small vernier engines just uh, on the left. So that vernier engine is used to change the attitude of the uh, f uh, this, this second Got stage. Got it. Look at the Shenzhou 16 crew watching from the space station. Uh, uh, with the continuous working of the rocket engines because the propellants are become less and less and the acceleration will be greater and greater so they will feel uh, the g-forces acting to their body are increasing at this mm. moment so this is what you're going through at this point in the flight okay Qingdao station has already uh, captured the uh, flying object mm. Qingdao is the last ground station to track the uh, combination. Okay, so this is the part where the Taikonauts could feel a little bit more discomfort in their uh, seats. But it's already better than in the atmosphere. You see that in the atmosphere because the international... Oh, you can see the 3D, in, uh, 3D animation. Mm. Uh, we can see the links between the ground stations and the uh, uh, launch vehicle. Mm. There are multiple ground stations have uh, tracking the uh, launch vehicle, and uh, all of them are receiving the telemetry date, uh, which presents the current status of the launch vehicle. So we can have a 3D uh, uh, animation, although it is an animation, but it represents the real status of the mm. flying objects. You were saying, Professor, that at this point the Taikonauts are feeling a little bit better than... Yes, uh, experience the G-forces and also the vibration. See that the main engine is still working, but the next step will be the shutdown of the main engine. Now seven minutes has passed. Uh, usually, the shutdown will have about eight to nine minutes. Yeah, on the right bottom corner, the Shenzhou 16 crew is watching. watching as I mentioned, uh, the Shenzhou 17 crew. I mean, they must be very happy to welcome the Shenzhou 17 crew because this will mean that their mission, their six-month-long mission, will soon come to an end. They return to Earth on October 30th, and there will be that happy um, meeting, happy handover. They will welcome their new colleagues uh, after six or seven hours. With open arms, I'm sure. So in six and a half hours or so, the spacecraft will oh, conduct it automatic. Okay, run the, the main engine target. is shut down. The main mm -hmm. engine has now shut down. This means that the, uh, the Shenzhou spaceship is already in orbit, but we will adjust its trajectory with the four Vernier engines to make it more precise. Mm. It is the minute that leave the ground that uh, the, the, the astronauts will feel uh, more uncomfortable. Uh, right now, it's getting more stabilized. Exactly, because right. the main engine has shut down. There is no greater G forces That's acting right. on their body. Yeah, it, yeah it's not. When we sit in the vehicles or the airplane, it's really acceleration. Yeah, that is uh, mm. having a big stress on us. So they take the, off and land in right. So yes. the next critical step will be the shutdown of the four warning engines. And at this moment, as Professor Liu has mentioned, they will experience the zero G. Right. Mm. And with this m camera mounted uh, on the second stage, looking forward, it will monitor the separation of the Shenzhou spaceship. It will monitor the separation of the Shenzhou space, uh, spacecraft from the uh, carrier rocket. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so just on the previous uh, video, we can see uh, still we have the connection, communication links between the Qingdao station and the uh, launch vehicle. Mm -hmm. And Qingdao being the last ground station. Yeah. So the separating point is just above the Pacific Ocean, uh, very close to the eastern coast of China. Actually speaking, near the Shandong province and Jiangsu province. 
Chang'an Six Hao is the uh, what we call the Yuan Wang Six space tracking ship of China. So it is now in the Pacific Ocean to be the last one to support the launch. How many of these tracking ships do we have for this mission? Do we know that? Uh, it depends. Oh, great. Okay, this so, is a key moment. The spacecraft has separated from the carrier rocket. Yes. Professor Yang, does that mean that Shenzhou 17 is now in its predetermined orbit? Uh, we will, uh, we will ha have some checking whether the orbital parameters is accurate enough. Only in these circumstances we can announce it is a successful launch. Moreover, there is announced also another two important steps. One is to, you know, that's the uh, unfolding of the solar panels and also the deployment of the uh, hanging antenna to the data relay satellite. So.